WFNN. Headline News Update. I'm Ron Basel Chapman. This is the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. And we're looking at the Dow down 752 with 31,520. There's that H pattern that we always talk about. Remember, markets go in cup and arch formations all the time, like a sine wave, sometimes moving in a, in, in a, a trend down or sideways, a horizontal or upward. But really, you're always looking at these patterns. Look how many H's there are on the weekly chart of the Dow. This is not good because what we've done is we've given back in two days what was actually holding very nicely between the MACD and Stochastic. Um, and it's all to do with news related items. This is how you, it wasn't really a technical breakdown. It was a news related smash to the downside. So we, you've got to respect that as being very important. Look at the S&P. It doesn't mean to say we aren't about to get very oversold. It does mean to say just be really careful, very selective. Look at the S&P, how much it's given back, going back to the 3810 low of the 20th of May, screams up to 4177 fails and now in two days it's given back a huge chunk of 39.11 down 106 look at the qqq uh this is where you need to see strength the semiconductors and the Qs. You, it, any big rally that comes up in an oversold condition maybe next week you want to see some participation leadership actually in this area so the Qs are down 10 at 289 arch formation uh, it needs to hold 288, otherwise uh, that's a big problem. It's very close to 280, low of the, uh, around right about the 20th. IWM, same thing, very weak, uh, down almost five. The gold, and this is very interesting, look, gold is uh, coming back now, it's up five. It was down 19, and the dollar was having a beautiful session. Uh, whoa, now it's having a more beautiful session, up 89 ticks at 104.21. We've just remained along the dollar for years now. Because this dollar is the icon, and so far it's been the, the bellwether for currencies around the world. We're looking at the TLT. This is really bad. The TLT is down again, uh, down 86 cents at 113.61. So the yields are going higher. The crude oil is pulling back, but has a, is it going to pull back enough to make a difference? Maybe by next week it does. It's already down 2.5 at 119.11, struggling here at the top, and it's just showing signs of my work on balance volume says. It is overbought and it could pull back to 116. That's going to be the big test. So with that said, I'm going to hand you over to Larry Pazaventa. Great programming here all day. Uh, you've got Larry, you've got Think or Swim, you've got uh, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, Tom O'Brien will be finished his workshop. There's a live workshop going on right now. Should be a fabulous workshop. He'll be back and he'll wrap it up for the weekend. Have a good weekend. I'll see you on Monday at 8 o'clock, 8 9 p.m. Eastern time. Thank you.